It's mic number two, this question uh, number two. Okay, uh, assalamu alaikum, Dr. Zakir Naik. Uh, my name is Adnan Jahangir. I am a medical student, and uh, I'm an atheist, but this lecture has convinced me otherwise that uh, assalamu alaikum is one of the best greetings. My, my question is, how- You are an atheist yes. or a Muslim? No, I'm a Muslim. Uh, I'm an atheist, ex-Muslim. You were a Muslim, now you're an atheist. Okay, brother, go ahead. All right. My question is of two parts. First one, what is the stance of Islam on evolution? And two, what is the stance of Islam on apostates? The first one, it's how, do you, how does Islam deal with evolution when, I'm, as I'm a medical student, my professors, when they show me the skulls of how humans have evolved throughout millions of years from Homo habilis to Homo erectus to us Homo sapiens and when they show proof of how evolution has taken place over the years how do you disprove that when there when it is fact it is not theory or a hypoth it is not a hypothesis anymore it is fact how do you disprove that if you could answer with the Jangir has asked a question that what is the Islamic view on theory of evolution? And brother, if I reply to you, then will you come back to the fold of Islam? If it's a convincing enough answer. If I give a convincing reply, will you come back to the fold of Islam? Inshallah. Inshallah. Good. The Jangir has asked a question. He said you are the Muslim and now he's an atheist. And he asked, what is the view of the theory of evolution? For complete, you can refer to my talk on Quran and modern science, which covers in the question and such and theory of evolution. As far as the question on theory of evolution has come, there is no book so far that I have read which talks about fact of evolution. Theory of evolution means the theory. And when we talk about theory of evolution, we start thinking of Charles Darwin. He wrote a book called The Origin of Species. And in that book, he says, that he went on a ship by the name of HMS Beagle and he went on an island by the name of Calatropus and there he saw birds pecking in niches. Now depending upon the niches, the holes they pecked, the beak became short and long. Based on this observation, he propounded his theory of evolution. He propounded a natural selection. And Charles Darwin, he wrote a letter to his friend Thomas Thompson in, in the 19th century. And he said that I do not have proof as far as my theory of evolution is concerned. There are missing links. But because it helps me in rudimentary organ, it helps me in classification, I have propounded this theory. That is the reason when we were in school, if we had to tease any of our friends, we used to call him that you are the missing link. If you were present, Darwin's theory would have been proved right. Indicating that either monkey. You know, we have to fool around. So there is no proof regarding Darwin's theory at all. It's a theory, it's not a fact. Now in most of the schools, they teach Darwin's theory as though it's a fact because they don't have any alternative. Because of that. But no scientist at all can say for sure. Yes, there are many scientists who support Darwin's theory. But as far as recent times are concerned, most of the, most of the scientists today have they do not agree with Darwin's theory. As far as you talked about the four waves of hominoids. First was the Iceman, then was the Neanderthal man, then was the Cro-Magnon. All these that you find, there is no link between them. There is no link whatsoever. According to P.P. Grasse, who held the chair of the evolutionary studies in Paris, Chaujon University, he said, it is letting your imagination run too wild to assume based on few studies on the vestiges, on the skeletons, to think that we have been created from him. There is no link at all among all these four. So Darwin propounded. Now many things of Darwin is correct. For example, life was created from water. That Quran also says in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 30. The Quran says, We have created everything from water. Every living thing from water. Will you not then believe? So this is correct. 
So many things of Darwin is correct, but as a whole, everything is not true. That we have been evolved for apes is not at all. If there was evolution today, we should be having some people who are in between monkeys and human beings. You don't find that in any museum. Brother Jangir, if it's true that we have been species that have been evolving, today we should find some species at least which are in between the human beings and the men. I would request the audio technician to increase the volume of it. The audio technician, wherever he is, can you increase the gain, please? Jazakallah. Jazakallah shukran. That will have less strain on my vocal cords. So, so, all these today, even according to molecular biology, according to the specialist of molecular biology, they say it is absurd to think that our DNA of the human beings have been evolved from it. It's not possible at all. There are many books written against Darwin's theory. Now, just because today, because there is no substantial fact, that's the reason in school yet you teach about Darwin's theory. But if you read the latest researches, most of the scholars, most of the scholars today do not believe in Darwin's theory as a whole to be correct. No scientist today yet believes. Very few, there may be few. But the majority, they disagree that we have been created from apes. And that's what the Quran says, that we believe in the theory of creation, not in the theory of evolution. The theory of creation, not the theory of evolution. Or rather, I should say the fact of creation. Hope that answers the question, brother. No. So where, where was the question? What, what did you not understand? What you say, it is true. It was true. 150 years ago, it was true. It's not Darwin's theory anymore. 150 years of research has said that it's not once. He was just the one who started the ideology of evolution. It has gone over loads, 150 years worth of research with the latest scientific advancements that it's not what you're saying. When my professor shows me proof, it's not just from apes, which is completely certain. When you see proof how the common cold evolves, evolves um, pathogenic, like when it changes its, its own morphology just to um, keep up to date with today's vaccines, it's evolving its defense mechanisms against um, today's latest vaccine. Brother, That's the evolution one thing. right there. Let me tell you one thing. It's not Darwin's theory Let anymore. me tell you one thing, brother. I am a medical doctor. And there are many researches being done. If it turns out to be a fact, it has to come in the medical college. It is Even in the medical college. It's, I'm thought it's in you, university. Sorry? I'm thought evolution in university. It's not, not in school anymore. I'm talking about medical. University, you learn about theories and researches. Even in medical, you learn about theories and researches. Once it becomes a fact, it comes into textbooks of medicine. I don't know of any textbook of medicine in any college in the world which says that we have been, we have been evolved. It is all these are theories and I know the research is being done. Even Darwin's theory never came in the medical textbook. And even what you're talking about, I know there are new and new researches being coming on. But none of them yet has proved it to be a fact of evolution. The, the statement by itself, theory of evolution, means it's a theory. So by English language itself, you don't have to be a researcher. When you say theory, it's a theory. When the theory becomes the fact, it changes. That thing changes into a fact. So by, by the basic you saying theory of evolution, it means it's an hypothesis. No. It is not yet a thought. There's it's a not yet a fact. There's a difference between hypothesis and theory. A theory is something in science that has the highest honor. When something gains the word theory, it's fact. The theory, in, in theoretical terms, it's the theory of gravity, but we don't say it, we just say fact. Oh, which, same way, sorry, we say way? the fact of gravity. Sorry, of what is the theory of what? Gravity, if you say it in theoretical terms, but it's... No the theory of gravity, it's the law of gravity. I'm sorry. Law. I'm sorry. It's the law your, of evolution. I'm sorry, your knowledge of science is very weak. It is Boyle's law. It is not Boyle's theory. It is Archimedes principles. It's not Archimedes theory. Whatever's theory, when it becomes a fact, it changes into law. I'm sorry your knowledge is so weak and I wouldn't like to continue. Your knowledge you is so weak. My question, I'm sir. not here to teach 2 plus is equal to 4 in the audience. In the question answer session, you ask a question, I give the answer. If you like it, you keep it. If you don't like it, you throw it. Okay, just the thing is that if your knowledge sir. is so weak, you're saying theory is the highest thing in science. I'm sorry, you're absurd. I'm a medical doctor. Theory is the highest thing in science. 
if I'm someone very can sorry, brother. If someone I'm can Jangi, disprove, brother, I'm very sorry. Theory is never the highest thing in science. If you think just because they're going to university, they're coming to fool the people here. I'm not. I'm totally sorry. Theory, if it becomes a fact, and if the theory becomes a law, it may reach a high standard. But theory by itself, it's a theory, it's a hypothesis. Once it gets converted, it becomes a law, it becomes a fact. Newton's law, it becomes a fact, it becomes a law. I'm sorry to say that by itself, it, calling it a theory means it is not yet an established fact. The heart pumps blood. Is it a theory or is it a fact? It's a fact. No, the proof. theory of heart pumping blood. Eh, theory of heart pumping blood now. Now, if I'm, if I'm going to teach you English language here, I feel you are wasting the time of the people. Surely, if you can't understand simple English, that what is the difference between the theory, that theory is the highest thing in science, then I'm sorry you'll have to go back and learn science. What about the evidence, sir? We would like to, uh, because, uh, you know, the, uh, as we have already learned, the uh, question in and of itself is uh, not uh, qualified to be, uh, it's a theory. <laughs> so we would like... <laughs> So we would like to give the opportunity to a more uh, qualified question, inshallah. And we will uh, ask from the ladies section, inshallah, if there is any lady who has uh, a theoretical no, question. <laughs> uh, from the non-Muslims, of course, we'll give preference to.